All right, so on this video, I've got to be repairing this and you will not believe what car it's out of. Stay tuned. Right, so uh, a customer's given me this, uh, it's a dash binnacle. Um, so at your dash cluster speed over rep counter goes inside there um, and it's obviously normally covered with uh, material but over the years it's off a classic car this is over the years the fiberglass uh, has just lost its shape the resin's obviously heated up and it's just sunk so the, the profile is nowhere near what it should be so uh, i've got to basically remake the top but it's it's quite complicated because this inside part here that shouldn't have a curve that should have this sort of contour, uh, this is a little stencil I took of the, the dash uh, cluster. So I've got to make the top pretty much flat back to these areas. And I've got to build all that back up. But on the inside, it's got to have a nice curve going up and round to match this. So first things first, need to start making some fiberglass sheets, uh, which I'll just do with hand layup. So we're going to do a fiberglass sheet that I can use this template to uh, cut a piece out of, and some more sheets for this. Uh, so we need to get our sheet of glass now and, and start making that up. the bottom of this at all so this is going to stay as it is uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a jig it's going to keep these two pieces in exactly that correct position I'm just going to make it out of wood it's a nice little jig so that when I'm working on this uh, top section I'm not going to affect the sides so it just means that I'm only modifying the bit I need to modify Now you can see from the, the little jig I've just made, uh, that's just going to stop the bottom from deforming anyway. So I know that that's that's how it fits to the car. So that's going to be fine. So 
that means I can just now start dressing the top. I'm gonna to start getting, I mean, this, this has got plywood. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually plywood across the front. And that's just completely bowed here. But the sides, the sides seem okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna mark out with a bit of pen, just a line across there, straight across the back, and back down here. And we're gonna remove that whole section. Uh, we're going to leave part of the bottom here, just so I've still got a datum. Um, and the same with these back corner bits there. And there, if you can see those bolt holes, that's where the um, standard instrumentation cluster, in, in, instrumentation cluster uh, bolts to. So I've got to keep them there for now. For now, it's starting to get a bit serious now. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so I've started cutting out the top of this uh, dash binnacle. Uh, there's the old loft cut here, and you can see it's just absolutely, uh, it's knackered, totally knackered. In the back bit, it's just got no strength in it whatsoever. Nice big thick piece of plywood, just weighs a ton. So I've just dressed the edges up now, get it all nice and flat. We've got some nice datums now to start working out where to put the nice panel for the top. The top panel on the cross here, because we've got two points in the corners. So we can start looking at making that panel. So if we look at the bit we've uh, laid up, pull it back. So this is now nice and cured, so we can pull the peel ply off. It should just come off relatively easy. Now what we've got to do is just uh, remove this from the glass and start marking up how I'm going to cut it. Right, so with our panel now, it's all got a lovely nice glossy finish for the top. Then because we can use the peel ply on the back, we've got a nice texture to it which we can now use as a secondary bonding service to add some reinforcement. So when we've got it on here, we can have a nice bit of reinforcement going across the front to replicate what the plywood is doing, but obviously a lot lighter. And just put a couple of ribs across there just to make sure we've got plenty of strength in the centre. So instead of making the whole lot a thick laminate, I'm just going to put a strip across the front, and then just some, some strategic ribs there, and that'll give the whole thing a bit more rigidity without adding a load of weight. So now I've added these ribs in now, uh, around the perimeter. It's now got a lot of strength. So, so to re remark the lines, then we can get this trimmed up, then we can start offering it up to the, the dash binnacle and just see how it fits. glued this, uh, this panel into the top now, it's lovely. So what I need to do now is to dremel out this part but leave that last back lip on. We can dremel that out and then we can then glass in the top panel and then we can start making the other panel for the lower, lower uh, panel which the binnacle will slip into. So it's starting to come together now. So that's, that's the last of the uh, Dremeling done for there. So all I've got to do now is dress this area here, in that area, and nicely neaten these up. Then we can glass this panel in and start doing the same thing about fabricating a nice panel for the inside to have a nice curve.
Right, so I've trimmed these back now. So now it's just time to glass the edges in. I'll leave this front area, because that's where the two pounds are going to meet up. So I'm just going to glass from there back. And all down here. And the same on this side. So the top piece is bonded in now, it's all fixed in. Just cut another piece here, which is going to fit in this little infill there. I'm just going to use a hot glue gun, just to tack it in place. Then I can start glassing it in from behind, and then I can go around the whole of, uh, the, whole of the top surface and get it sounded nice and smooth to get a good profile, and get the original shape back. I'm slowly getting there now. Okay, so uh, we made a nice little, uh, another flat panel here. Uh, a nice surface on the back of it to bond to the uh, other pieces of fiberglass. So we're going to uh, measure up this cutout here, which is going to be the top of the binnacle. Uh, draw it onto here, cut all that out so that we can then offer it up and start bonding it in place. Uh, and I'm also going to make a little template for the dash cluster outline that's going to go in here, just to make sure the shape is correct. So uh, without further ado, we'll get uh, we'll get cracking. Right, so uh, the panel's all trimmed up now. Um, so what I've got to do now is offer it up to follow this line. So that's why I've left the existing, um, where the existing panel went. I know the, the profile of it. So I'm just going to offer this, this panel up in, in situ, uh, then use the hot glue gun just to tack it in place, then I can start glassing it in from um, the other side so you won't see any of the bonding. So uh, yes, yeah, nearly there now. Got the uh, got the panel in place now. Look, it's got the uh, the curve on the inside coming to the front, which is nice and flat. Uh, I've used a heat glue gun to just tack it in place and just seal it, so we can turn it upside down and uh, glass it from the inside out. And I've uh, I've checked with the uh, the little just made a little carbon template. Uh, this fits in there. Also, I've got the tape in there, but it fits perfect to that profile. So I've just got to um, just start glassing this in now from the inside. Then we can remove all this and start dressing the front. Uh, then it's just a little bit of a clean up and it's ready to go. finished. 
So I've had all the, um, all the edges all smoothed in now. Uh, the front's had some panel bond used as a filler. And there's a, a radius been added to the inside. Rear's been flushed. Radius on that side. But that's properly pre repaired panel. So uh, all I have to do now is to drop it off at the, uh, the customers and uh, make sure he's happy. So uh, let's get into the truck and take it and drop it off. Right, a uh, bit of bad news. Um, I went to uh, drop the panel off with a client um, and I didn't get any footage or I wasn't allowed to get any footage. Uh, basically I got there, got through security and uh, I mean just saying I've gone through security is sort of giving you an idea of what sort of workshop I'm going to. So I, I got to the workshop, um, the client who was uh, Ian Terrell of Ian Terrell Classic Cars, uh, he was on the phone so I walked straight up to the car. Uh, which, in essence, as you probably know now from the title, it, it was a Lamborghini Countach or Countach, if you want to pronounce it. I went straight over to it, got the camera out, started doing a bit of a bit, you know, bit of footage of it, and he comes straight over and said, "Raj, hope you don't mind, but there's no filming inside the workshop um, due to the sensitivity of what cars are in there." And I, I, I think it was actually quite naive of me to assume I'd be able to do that. And I said, "No, not a problem at all." Um, but I, I mean, he's, he's, if you look at the links down below, um, I look at his channel. Uh, his website, you, you'll see the sort of uh, pedigree of cars he's working on. Uh, in, in the workshop alone, I mean, there's cars ranging, anything under 100 grand is a cheap car in his workshop. They're all in the hundreds and some in the millions. They're just phenomenal. The workshop is, it's always a pleasure to go down there. It's its a petrol and sweat dream. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, but no, he's, uh, he's kindly uh, sent me some photos over of the... Uh, of the finished article, it's not actually installed yet because they've still got some more work to do inside the car. But they've got the, uh, I think it's like a leather upholstery over the uh, the binnacle, and it. I think the result is it, it looks really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically why I was, I was hoping to like do a bit of an unveiling of it, and um, yeah, it didn't happen. But um, long-winded video, but it's giving you an idea of how I have to repair certain panels the authentic way. Um, obviously, I could have done anything infused with this sort of uh, this sort of repair job. It was done as it would have been done back in the day, just with more modern resins, uh, which this time they won't they won't sag or distort with the heat, uh, so they'll, they'll be good for a good few years now. But the usual uh, YouTube vlogging jazz. If you like the content, um, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit hit the bell icon to stay notified when I do a new video. So uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the pictures. Cheers.